Hey guys, Nick here in the Eastwood studio. And today I'm going to show you how to cut thick metals with our VersaCut line of CNC plasma tables and cutters. I'll start off here at the plasma cutter. I'm running our VersaCut 40 CNC today with a machine torch setup. For cutting thick plate, you need to be on 240 volt power to get the full 40 amp output. 30 amp on 120 volts will literally not cut it. Checking airflow with the test button here. I'll give the regulator a bump to 70 PSI. It doesn't hurt. We also need to make sure our consumables are in tip-top condition. Even with perfect settings, the consumables will wear much faster due to the extra heat and slag. It only takes a couple failed pierces for slag blowback to damage the nozzle. Good luck getting a decent cut with a bad nozzle. How to check the consumables? Unthread the outer nozzle from the torch and the nozzle is right in here with the air diffuser. The cap, the outer nozzle, and the air diffuser don't need to be replaced unless damage is visible. The nozzle and electrode are the main wear points. Looking on the inside of the nozzle, I'm checking for charring and erosion around the orifice. If I see erosion, probably time to replace. Similarly, checking on the electrode, I'm looking at the charring on the tip and sides. If it goes up the sides with a big dimple in the center, time to replace. In general, if you hear whistling or the arc looks unusual while cutting or it's having a hard time piercing when it was fine before, just throw a new set of consumables on there and see if it's any better. On the plasma table, some of the most important variables are right here on the main cutting screen. Hopefully you all know by now, but cut speed and pierce time are crucial. When cutting thick material, we need to slow down the torch and extend the pierce time to get a full cut. Check the reference table for your plasma cutter. With our VersaCut 40 CNC here, I want to be around 35 inches per minute and a 1.2 second pierce time. We also need to make sure the automatic torch height control settings are good to go. Check out our video here on how to dial those in. Be careful with the initial height because if it's too close, slag blowback can wipe out a nozzle fast. Diving in a little deeper in F4 setups, F1 speed, I like bumping these top three acceleration values up so it starts slower and changes direction slower. Start speed is the initial speed of the torch. I'll set that to 15 inches per minute and ACC time is the time over which it transitions from that 15 inches per minute to the full cut speed. ACC time is short for acceleration time. I'll set that to 1.5 seconds. Acceleration sets how aggressively the torch changes direction. Turning that up to about 0.8 gives more sluggish movement for improved beam stability. Small arc and limited speed below radius we can use to get the best quality possible out of small holes and arc features. Say I have some 3 8 inch holes in a caster plate. I can punch in 0.19 for the radius and 20 inches per minute for the speed. This will reduce the speed those holes run at and should give slightly less bevel and better concentricity. In F4 Plasma, the only thing to check out is for dialing in the auto torch height control. Some of these settings down here can be useful if the torch plunges at the beginning, during corners, when it slows down, or at the end of a cut. Again, check out our video on the automatic torch height control. I talk briefly about these at the end. As far as settings tips, that's all I got. I'm sure some of you in the industry have way more experience plasma cutting than I do. If you have any suggestions, please drop a comment down below. Let's do some cutting. These pieces show you how different speeds give different results. This was a bit slow at 15 inches per minute. Here is about right at 35 inches per minute. And this was too fast at 40 inches per minute. We rate the VersaCut 40 CNC at 1 quarter inch max cut thickness on a CNC table, but 3 8 inch for hand cuts. Why is that? Well, when you're hand cutting, it's easy to stop in place and let the arc catch up. The CNC table doesn't know to do that. It wants to move at a constant pace. Furthermore, when you're hand cutting, you're often starting at the edge of a plate, which is easier to punch through, but cutting parts on a CNC table, you're always center piercing the start. Almost always. Let me show you how to edge start with the CNC table to unlock a little extra thickness capability. Here we have a 3 8 inch plate a little thick to center pierce, and I have my part. I've turned the cut speed way down, bumped the pierce time up a little more. I'll quick switch to demo mode and I'll position the torch where I want to start. 
hit start, enter, then pause it right away. The lead in is to the left here, so I'll travel to the left edge off the plate and position the torch centered right over the edge. Switch to plasma mode and press the start key. It will prompt me how I want to handle the situation since I manually moved the torch off the part. To start right here in return, I want to press cutting return. Now it will start the cut right on the edge and cut back and continue to finish. Just like that, I have a nice cut. Lots of slag, but that's to be expected when we're pushing the plasma beam this hard. If you get crafty with a pre-drilled hole, you can also use this method for inside features that would normally be center pierced too. For more information on all the tools and products you've seen here, head on over to eastwood.com.